The most recent episode of Baki Dao left us with many questions and few answers. First, Itagaki shows us a new design of Yujiro and then introduces a new character in the series. About Yujiro, we will talk later. For now, I would like to start explaining who this new character named Keheya is. Tama no Keheya is the name of the man who fought against the first Nomino Sukune. If you don't remember who this character is, I invite you to read the first three chapters of Baki Dao, 2018. Keia was a powerful fighter. He was able to pull off the horns of an ox with the strength of his arms. But Keia was most famous for his powerful kicks. He was able to extinguish a candle with the momentum of his kicks. He could even kill a fly with a kick. This man boasted of having the most powerful legs in history, but he felt that no one was capable of giving him a worthy fight. So he went to talk to a feudal lord to find him a good opponent. Keia wanted them to bring him someone who could give him a fight and who would not break easily. He was so sure that there would be no one capable of defeating him that he even put all of his lands at stake. The feudal lord accepted Keia's request, and the match was quickly arranged. The day of the match arrived and Keia's opponent was none other than the sumo god, Nomino Sukune. The two had engaged in a brutal fight full of punches and kicks. However, Keia was not prepared for what he received at that moment. Sukune's kicks and punches were stronger than his. Sukune gave him no chance and gave him a stomp that broke his spine. The match ended with Sukune as the victor and the death of Tama no Kaheya. And this is how the man with the fastest kicks in history was defeated by the first Nomino Sukune. Well, now that we know that this man is the reincarnation of Tama no Kaheya, we can start talking about him. First of all, it is worth noting the fact that Tokugawa seemed to have known this man for a long time, just as he knew Nomino Sukune. I wonder how the old man managed to meet the descendants of those legendary fighters. I don't know why, but whenever something important happens in the Baki series, it seems like Tokugawa already knows everything. On the other hand, Keia's motivation for going to visit Tokugawa is still unknown. My guess is that he went to visit the old man in order to have a meeting with Sukune. It would not be unusual for him to seek to cleanse his ancestors' honor by defeating the current Nomi no Sukune. The problem is that Sukune is currently unfit to fight, which leads me to assume that Keia will seek to take on the man who was able to defeat the sumo god. Another interesting point is the famous killing stone that Keia destroyed. According to Japanese folklore, this stone contained a powerful demon. Apparently, the killing stone contained one of these demons, namely the nine-tailed fox, the most powerful of all demons. In the Baki fan community, there are several theories about this event. One of them says that the demon that was imprisoned inside the killing stone could have possessed Keheya's body at the moment the stone was destroyed. What do you think about this? Do you think it would be a good idea to involve more supernatural things in the Baki series? I remind you that these things would be nothing new in the series. Remember the moment when Yuichiro Hama's spirit appeared in the middle of the fight between Baki and Yujiro. As well as this, several supernatural things have happened in the series. Another theory about this event is the following. After Keia destroyed the Nasu Stone, the demon was released and directly influenced the Hama family. That would explain Yujiro Hama's sudden increase in muscle mass. There could be a possibility that this demon is directly related to the Hama family in their history. That would explain why Yujiro decided to visit Tokugawa at the same time as Keia. This whole thing about the Killer's Stone and Keia is still very confusing. However, in the next chapters, maybe we will have more answers. In the meantime, I would like to know your opinion about it. Tell me your theories and what you think may happen in the next chapters of Baki Dao. And well, friends, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. I hope you have a nice day or night. See you soon.